Alright guys, how is it all going today? Well, today's video, we just want to update on my P. Miranda, and then we'll uh, say a couple things. So let's go have a look at her. Well, you can see my big TV is gone. <laughs> don't have it anymore. We sold it, so... Uh, it's all good, so we have a lot of room now. There's my idiot species. Let's put it over here. Black trapdoor. No, we really can't update a piece of... Uh, patch of group dirt, can we? Alrighty, my P. Miranda is probably one of my favorite, favorite pokies. Uh, there she goes. What a perfect relaxed position. As you know, I raised this as a three quarter inch sling. I remember buying her on, uh, I think, mid-2008, when she was this small, and now she's like a 5-inch confirmed female. What I really like about this species is that the colors are amazing, and it's very distinct pokey compared to uh, your ordinary um, Pura Gallus. Um, I tend to keep... P. Miranda and other of my pokies the same condition, uh, keeping conditions. Right now she's in a uh, gallon, one gallon tank. I got this from um, Walmart. Jolt some holes over on the cover and on the side, and she has a little piece of wood uh, so she can hang on, hang around it. When she gets bigger, I'm probably going to buy a similar cage setup to uh, as my P. Rufalata. I have also uh, cage, cages that I bought for uh, the P. Fasciata and the P. Ornata that I'll be getting. <laughs> yeah, and, and these temperaments of uh, P. Mirandas are actually pretty docile from uh, at least what my specimen is. This is the only Miranda that, that I have. And uh, she doesn't give me any threat postures. Uh, she's not terribly fast. Uh, I'd handle her, but. And again, you know, with pokies, you really got to be careful. Um, they do have uh, slightly potent venom, and uh, <laughs> a bite from one is not not cool. So they get a typical uh, seven to eight inch lifespan. So pretty much, you're going to see the same colors, except that uh, she'll be eight inches. Yeah. So, so just want to give a little update video of my P. Miranda and how it's doing. So a lot of my subscribers really like those Mythbusters videos. So, uh, so what I plan on doing is that um, I might actually continue the series. Probably I'm going to be starting with the most common species, um, you know, like the Avic Avic, um, the B. smithy, the P. regalis, the P. municus. But I'm not sure if you want me to go ahead and maybe do like almost every species that I have. Probably uh, the Aleda, the uh, O. Orotibalius, the P. Formosa. People ask me about the T. Speedy Peeps, T. Blondie, so uh, that's that's also uh, a good idea to do. And a whole bunch of others. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to start tomorrow or Sunday with a uh, Mythbusters video of the Brachypalma Smithy. The Mexican red knees is another common uh, tarantula that people like to get. And then I'll probably start off branching off to like alphabetical order and go all the way down to uh, V, from A to V. That's what I have. And then I'll put this on a care sheet. Well, I'll, I'll just make a separate uh, playlist video so we can be able to access these with ease. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing for the next uh, couple of uh, videos. Well, you're going to have two weeks, so that's going to be good. And plus the feeding videos and uh, whatever updates I have and such. So that's the uh, news I have so far. And um, see you guys later.